Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash ValderBeebeShow, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show's channel. I'll see you there. No. Good morning. Hi, Val. How are you? Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for having me. Well, I heard you got the sights and the sounds and what's going on. At, uh, tell me what's going on today. I'm so excited to talk to you. Oh, same here. So, really, we're talking New Year's resolutions and how to keep them. And for me, it really comes down to setting reasonable goals. Studies show that people stick to their resolutions once they set reasonable goals for themselves and surrounding yourself with a support system of family and friends that want the best for you and are going to help you reach those goals and climb those mountains if you will and pat yourself on the back valder be your biggest cheerleader you know there is no feat too big or too small so whatever it is you accomplish you know really cheer yourself on all right. Today I'm talking to you guys. I'm talking to Valerie Greenberg. She's talking about, you know, a pro's guide to keeping your New Year's resolution. I thought that was really interesting because I read the statistics on New Year's resolutions, and usually, you know, that's not going so well for most of us. Yeah, and again, you know, like we were discussing, it really does come down to surrounding yourself with that support system, loved ones that care about you, that want to see you strive. You know, far too many times we have people in our lives that don't necessarily uh, want the best for us, but maybe we thought they did. So it's time to just surround yourself with the people that have your best interests at heart. And don't beat yourself up. You know, if you slip up, that's okay. It doesn't mean that the resolution should be thrown in the trash. It just means that you have another chance to make, to make it come true. And that's what it really comes down to. So celebrate milestones and make the goals reasonable. Baby steps will get you to the point of success. Okay, so what are some of the tips to achieving those New Year's goals or just life goals? What are some of the tips? Yeah, absolutely. So I know that one of the biggest resolutions people make, and for myself included, it's about sticking to our fitness routine. And I think that when we feel confident and we feel as though we look good, that's going to make us want to go to the gym and work out more. And there are really effective tools that are simple to implement into your everyday routine that you can use to get yourself to be successful in that. And that goes for, you know, wearing gym clothes that are cute so you can go from the gym to brunch. You know, they have the compression feature that makes you feel slim and trim and fabulous. I know I like to wear mascara that is waterproof so that I can have my eyes pop, you know, just that little bit of extra something to make me feel special. And then bring face wipes with you post-workout so your complexion can stay clear and your skin can glow all day long. Now, Another issue that we all face is hair. And for me, I don't always have time, and that even happened to me this morning, to wash, blow dry, and set it. And that is when I turn to Dove Volume and Fullness Dry Shampoo. So this happens to be a weightless formula that cleans by absorbing the oil in the hair, but it also is gonna help to keep it fresh in between regular washes while transforming lifeless hair to bouncy, and that is pretty incredible that it does so with keeping a fresh scent. So your hair is still going to smell amazing. Now, the best part about this is not only is it for all different hair types, but it's also for all different hair colors. And you can pick it up at food, drug, and retailers for only $3.99. So definitely throw it in your gym bag. It's super cost efficient. Yeah, dry shampoo is really making a big comeback. Let me Absolutely. ask you, 
it's my the favorite. weather's changing. We're we're in the cold seasons now. Is there anything that we can do to keep ourselves on track? Because you know, one sneeze and I'm out of the gym now. Absolutely, Valder. Okay, so this is what we've got. So the CDC does recommend that anybody over the age of six months get a flu shot. So that can help in that department, but just simple things like keeping your hands away from your mouth and your eyes. But at the end of the day, we're in these enclosed spaces, especially you being a radio host, and people are contagious and there are germs everywhere with a cough or sneeze. So if you feel a cold coming on, that is when you reach for coldies lozenges that are clinically proven to shorten the duration of your cold by almost half. Now, their multi-symptom lozenges not only shorten your cold, but they also provide relief to cold and flu symptoms like cough, congestion, and sore throat. And now they have these new products. They're gummies that are amazing for the whole family and taste delicious. They're like, they honestly taste like candy. They're so incredibly great. And they'll provide you with all that relief. And you can find out about all of this at coldies.com. Valerie Greenberg, you know, from the buzzing on the latest red carpet to talking about the latest trend, you are number one. Thank you for being my guest at the beginning of the year. I really oh, appreciate that. Oh, you're so sweet. And go to videopump.tv for all information, and you can pick Coldies up at drug retailers and groceries nationwide. Yes, just try not to eat too many. Thank yeah. you so much, <laughs> Valerie Greenberg. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Valder.